The month of the mythical has begun in game and along with it we have a bunch of teasers to go over today. Let's start off then by going over to the loading screen. This loading screen is full up to the rafters with teasers. So first of all, let's have a look at what Woobox is looking at. If we have a look where Woobox is looking and good old Jostridge, we can see behind the S and I letters a brand new monster. This monster has huge purple spikes coming out of them and they look so so cool. However, I think the biggest question that everyone's going to be asking today is what this new thing could be. First of all, obviously, it could be a brand new monster that we've never seen before. Going back to Clava Vera when they first came out, before they released on the spooked loading screen, we got a little glimpse at them. So it certainly could be a new monster. That's the last case that we've had that happen. As well, there's lots of seasonals on this loading screen with Spirit and Monculus. So therefore, it could easily be the case that this is a new monster, especially with that final quad on the horizon. There's so many different options here for what this monster could be if it is a new monster that it's honestly really hard to determine what it could be in the first place. However, if you've read the title, you may see where I'm going with this. More often than not, rares and epics are teased on the loading screen rather than new monsters. Claw of Era was all the way back in October. <laughs> and honestly, I don't think this looks like a new monster whatsoever. And given this mysterious look that Wubox is giving it, it almost seems as though Wubox is involved in this, doesn't it, guys? So going to what it could be, I think this could be Rare Brump. If we pull up the image of Brump here, the leg sockets that come off of it seem to be placed in the exact same places, and Furcon's eggs are where the horns are placed on this brand new monster, so it definitely looks like this could be Rare Brump. <laughs> now, I think the big question we need to go over then is would they actually do it in the first place? This month is supposed to be the month month of the mythical. We're going full out here, guys, and I think they're going to really try and bring everything on display inside of this month. So therefore, I think it actually is a very likely scenario that this could be Rare Brump, especially with that look that Wubox has given it. I mean, come on, you can't make it any more obvious. Wubox is the one that created the Wubblins. So whilst I don't think it's going to be the one that created the Rare Wubblins, I think this definitely has a lot of hinting going on here towards it. It would provide a lot more variety other than the Rare Magic calls epic fires and epic ephrals that we already have already. We already have all of those variants inside of the game coming out, so why not just throw another one in there? It's a very fan-requested thing, and I think it'd honestly be really cool to see rare Wubblins inside of the game, especially with how popular Wubblin Island is. Wubblin Island deserves more attention, and getting rare Wubblins on there, I think, might be the way to go about it, as Wubblin Island's song is really complete, and therefore I think this is an excellent way to delve into more content for Wobbling Island actually releasing in the first place. It's confirmed as well that something has been planned to release on Wobbling Island. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the clip of Monster Handler Matt saying this, so you are going to just have to trust me on this one, but 100% they did say it. So, with something coming for Wobbling Island and something being planned, there's not really a lot of options with the song already being in a very complete form and them not really being able to tamper with it that much, so therefore it's got to be really something that doesn't alter the song, and therefore I think with this in tow, I think this would be an excellent chance for this concept to finally be realised. And I think this is what they were initially referring to when they were initially on about what they were planning for Wobblin. There's not a lot that they can do, so therefore I do think that they were on about rare Wobblins. Now, as well, we've got to go over now how this is going to happen in-game. I think Amber Island is our best bet at looking at how the rare Wobblins would actually work inside of the game. I think universal exclusivity, like with Amber Island, where monsters come out every so often so that you can only get it in a specific time frame would be the best way to go about it. I think the mechanics for this are already done. It would be so much easier to do it and therefore I think it is the best conclusion to make out of this scenario. I've always pictured it to be like that as well and I do actually remember talking about it in a previous video but now they have the mechanics in place already on Amber Island, I just see it being so likely guys. It could be similar mechanics to whatever they have planned for the Crucible as well. That is going to function much different differently to the rest of the rares and epics and everything that we have in game and just literally every single mechanic. So therefore they could tie it into that, but I think the most likely option would be for them to do it like Amber Island's releases. With this being a rare wobbling, I do want to say though, my goodness, I cannot believe that this is a thing, but also I do have a few concerns. I think that the rare wobblings really need to be made worth it and therefore I think they might need to delve into things like 
like new animations or having just such epic designs. It needs to be next tier level as you're not thinking just about breeding these monsters anymore. You're rather thinking about getting them over an exclusive timer and them being harder and everything and therefore I really think they need to delve into making these worthwhile and next tier level compared to everything else as the wobblings are already the really hardcore thing. So going even more hardcore with this really needs to present not just that level of challenge but also needs to present that reward doesn't it and they need to be worth it therefore and just kind of that next tier level I think. I think they also need to be not really that much harder to obtain compared to our regular counterparts. I think if they make them any harder especially you drum roll I'm looking at you. <laughs> I think we might honestly have a lot of trouble but I've got to say guys they did an amazing job with Amber Island's mechanics. Seeing it come in together now is so amazing and they did a really good job in the game design department on that. I was so skeptical of that at first but just seeing everything come together now it's honestly so relieving and seeing how the game design has evolved over the past year has been absolutely phenomenal so honestly I don't really have that many concerns about this. I think they're doing a phenomenal job with the game design behind the game so therefore it's not really something that I'm actually concerned about. I really do think that this is going to be an epic thing inside of the game and I have no concerns about this. Going back to the loading screen though as we have a few more teasers. If we look to the far left you will be able to see a shadow in the background. If we turn up the exposure you can see it right now and this is a castle. It's a brand new castle that we've never seen before. I think the most likely conclusion to draw up would be for it to be for Ethereal Island. With the release of Monculus now and the epic Everals coming out I feel like those crystalline castle upgrades have got to come to Ethereal Island. And I'm looking at Crystallium and with all the references to it inside of Monculus's bio it seems even more likely doesn't it guys. Looking underneath the ENR as well you will notice a shanty path and it does look very similar to the spooktacle path but in Photoshop I was having a nosy round with my colour picker. Apparently the hue is different on this thing and the shadows don't really align with the structure that's underneath so therefore I do think that this is a new seasonal path and that therefore we will be expecting a new seasonal. Another new seasonal. <laughs> yeah you got that right guys. There's another four Wednesdays left inside of the month of the monster so there's a lot of content to get out there and with new monsters coming each week it's not that momentous at all. This is honestly probably to be expected. They're going all out with this month and there's a lot of things to be excited for. I think for the release of these monsters it's very unpredictable. The fires are coming on Wednesday for Amber Island. I don't think that Rare Brump's debut would be a good fit for that. It feels like something that should release separately. It feels like something that should release on a week by itself because this seems like such a momentous thing that we've been waiting for for such a long time. It honestly doesn't feel like it'd do it justice to draw away the attention from it with Amber Island. So I'm really unsure when it could release. Then looking at it again, this is why I'm unsure because they've put the spotlight on the loading screen on Rare Brump now. So everyone's going to be waiting for Rare Brump. So it could go both ways. It could come on Wednesday or it could come later. But besides that, we have Lycoad's design to look at. I wanted to picture this up because Lycoad's done yet again a lovely job at capturing what Rare Brump could look like. They've put fabulous water paint dots amongst them. I liked what you get with Screamu and the Wobblins, which I think is wonderful. They've really captured the design so well. If this was the actual design, I would be so happy as this just looks so cool. Like, oh, you've done such a good job looking at the water paint and the nails. Oh, it's glorious. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about the Rare Wobblins that might be coming in game down below. And if you think it's the Rare Wobblins, make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed down below and to subscribe as well. I'll see you guys later though for now. Bye, guys. Thank you.